This next session will involve client search and create case file. If you follow along on your agenda, you'll see we're at session number eight, and we're starting on the technical assistance task um, with lesson plan number 42. And so um, we'll go ahead and turn it over to Jennifer Chin, and she'll be presenting our session for us today. Well, good morning, everybody. Hopefully you can hear me just fine. Um, appreciate being willing to do this today. And as you have seen, we are jumping around with lesson plans um, really to, to focus on the, the new functionality here with Release 1.2. So we're jumping from lesson plan 10 up to lesson plan 42, where we're going to play around a little bit more with the service center client search uh, abilities. So we'll go ahead and get started with 42, uh, which again is service center client search and create conservation case file for a new client. The requirements course here is that we're in desktop and preferences are set. And the idea here is uh, we might need to create a new case file, aka customer folder, for a client so that we can do planning work with that client. Uh, at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to search for a new service center client and create a new co uh, conservation case file. So we're going to go right back to where we were a little bit earlier with um, Ronnie's lesson plans. We're going to go um, to that client search button on the conservation desktop toolbar. So we're going to go up to the two little avatars there, the client search. And this is kind of our, our previously known skin search uh, window. So the client search dialog opens to the service center clients tab with your default service center selected. And I just have to pause there for a moment because I'm so glad I don't see Alabama listed as the state like we do in SKIMS. So this is a, that was great news for me. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so you can see that it does default to the service centers that you would have um, selected in your preferences. So let's go ahead and enter a client name. And again, we're going to search for something kind of generic such as um, Smith or Bike and click Search. Another item I want to point out on this screen um, is, of course, on the Service Center Client search window, you have the ability to search for the parameters that, uh, that you see there, name, common name, et cetera. And by default, we're, we're searching by our default service center. But underneath where it so shows you state, service center, and county, you also have options to either select for the national search or to search all of the service centers in your preferences. So just various ways of adjusting the scope of your search. All right, well, we went ahead and searched for bike, and we see that we have some results uh, below. So let's go ahead and select a client from the search results and create a new conservation case file. So there's two ways to do this. You can either go to the Actions icon to the right, and um, you'd see multiple options there, one of which is the top option is creating that conservation case file. So you could do it that way. Or if you wanted to, you could go ahead and just click on the blue hyperlink um, for, for the name to, to go ahead and generate that. So if you click on the hyperlink for the name, a window will appear, and an orange button at the bottom will allow you to create conservation case file. There's just two ways of doing the same thing. All right, so once we go ahead and click Create Conservation Case File, the new case window will open. Our default servicing office is um, displayed by default. And then we can go ahead and specify the company and business name. And we'll go ahead and specify training, followed by our initials and lesson plan 42. And then for the identifier, we'll use lesson plan uh, initials plus lesson plan 42. And then we can go ahead and hit the Create button. And then this will go ahead and generate uh, that case file for us. So we can see once we hit Create, the system updates. And we can see that uh, we're returned to our main conservation desktop screen. And in the table of contents on the left-hand side, you can see that our, our client name is loaded, as well as that new case file that we just created. So that's creating a case, conservation case file and the end of Lesson Plan 42. So we're going to switch gears a little bit. And lesson plan 43, we're going to demonstrate how we can use the um, client search option to uh, search for easements and create a new easement case file. So again, requirements are to be in conservation desktop, um, have a service center selected, 
Um, and that service center has to have at least one easement record entered into NEST um, where it does not already have an easement case file created. So again, if we're going to create case files for an easement, we need to be in an area where there are easement applications or um, actual agreements where there hasn't already been a case file um, created for it. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and use an easement that we have um, available to us. And the easements are in Cheriton County, Missouri. So we want to make sure that we've got that option in our preferences. And then we can go ahead and begin. So it, <clears throat> again, the rationale here is that you might need to create a new easement case file for an easement application or an, an existing easement agreement. Uh, easement case files are a little different than conservation case files because they're tied directly to the NEST record. You cannot create an easement case file without a record in NEST, and only one case file can be created per easement ID. And easement case files can only be created in those servicing offices associated with the county where the easement is located, which makes sense. So at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to search for an easement client and then be able to create a new easement case file. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we're already at, back over into the client search window. But instead of under Service Center Clients, we're going to click the tab for Easement Clients. And then we're going to want to make sure um, we have a state and county service center available for those easements. So we've got that selected, Missouri, Sheraton. OK, so the Easement Client Search opens. Again, we've got our state and county selected. And then um, you can see here that we've got some pull-down uh, windows available to us, the Easements Program drop-down will list all easement programs where there are NEST records for that selected county. So again, this list is going to be reflective of those programs that are um, uh, participating in that given county. So you can either select one of the programs here or select all easement programs, which is what we're going to do. And then you can hit Search. And <clears throat> if you wanted to search for all easements, you could do that, or as we've shown on screen, you have a particular easement application uh, or agreement number that you're looking for, you can populate that easement uh, ID here. So you can see we're looking for a particular easement. We type that easement number in, and we hit search. So we can see that below that we have a result for our easement, which is good. And now we can go ahead and create an easement case file. There are two options for doing this, uh, very similar to the conservation case files. You can either go over to the Actions icon, the little three dots, and select Create Easement Case File. Or you can come over to the easement uh, ID itself and click on that hyperlink to create the easement case file. So we'll go ahead and do that. Click on the e agreement number. And I see a very similar window to what we saw previously. Uh, and you have that orange button available to you to click Create Easement Case File. And of course, you can see here we've got um, very similar window, again, where we're going to name that folder, that case file. So under company business name, we're going to enter training, our initials, and lesson plan 43. And then for the identifier, we're going to type in the last five digits of the agreement number. And then we can click Create. Once we click Create, the system will update. And you can see our view changing, but going back to kind of the default desktop screen. But you can see on the left side, we've got our newest client and newest easement case file reflected in the table of contents. And that is it for Lesson Plan 43.